Hello everybody, it is your boy TwinPlays here, back in another video, hope you guys are doing amazing. So, recently we just left off with another tutorial. Um, well, actually we left off with Dora's Hangout trailer. Now, if you guys are wondering, I am posting more and I am getting back in the tutorials. I've just been a little busy and I still will be busy, um, but I'm trying my hardest. So, I'm a little sick by the way, so that's why I'm not really showing my face, of course, as you can tell. Um, if you're new to my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on that post notifications. It means so much to me, everybody. We are almost at 14,000 subscribers, and I am so happy. Um, thank you to Junel, too, for shouting me out. Uh, he's awesome. Can't wait to do Dora's Hangout. If you haven't checked it out already, feel free to go figure out the game and check out the trailer. It's really cool. Um, so, today we're going to be doing the hand to command. Now, the hand to command is actually really simple. It's kind of like the gift to player, but um, it's only for one item, and... It is a simple command script that I will show you in a second here, but um, the only way to use it is you will basically be selecting a tool, so any of the tools that you want, and you will do in chat, um, exclamation point, hand to, and then the player name. When you do that, um, it will find the player, and if the player name is correct, it will give it to him. Now, this player name has to be fully correct. I did not make it so you guys can just type in the short version. It needs to be the full player name. And actually, it's kind of better if you do the full player name as I was thinking about it because um, it prevents you from giving it to the wrong player, which is another reason why. So, um, yeah, this does work, but it only works if you type in the full player name. But um, let's quickly hop into what we did. So if you are wanting to claim this command, um, you're going to want to go to the description and look for inventory and you're going to want to, I mean model, sorry, and you're going to want to get this command right here. Um, it's just going to hit click this, you can get, uh, try and studio or claim it, whatever you want, or you can download it. Or you can actually go to my cafe game and um, feel free to edit the game and um, go inside it and grab it in. It will be in service script service um, already for you. But um, basically what we do is um, inside here. You're going to be uh, putting this into service script service, by the way. So make sure this command scripts in service script service. You can insert it by going to toolbox and going into your inventory and clicking this thing right here. Um, but it's just a few things. Um, so first we grab the players and this is by grabbing everyone in the game. Then we grab the group ID, minimum rank, and hand command. Um, these are our three local variables. So you want to put your group ID right here. Now, the group ID is actually pretty simple to grab. Um, it's just going to be your uh, ID right in the link up here. So um, this one right up here uh, in your Twins community, you know, you just click this right here. That's going to be the link And for that. Now, if you are going to want to get the minimum rank, you're going to want to go inside of it. You're going to want to go to uh, roles. And you're going to want to check in here. Now, the rank is the minimum rank. So you're going to want to look at the minimum rank. So let's say if you're a bartender or whatever, someone who's the minimum rank that allows a person to do hand to, um, you're going to want to put the rank ID number, whatever that is. So let's say helper, it's going to be 253. So basically 253 is going to go right here, and then that will work for only them and above. Then we have the hand command, which is going to be exclamation point hand to. Now, you can change this if you want. Um... But I recommend just keeping like this. You could do like slash slash or whatever. But I don't recommend doing a space. Um, that is because we are splitting the message right here already. So do not do that. I recommend just uh, keeping it like this. Um, and also if you do change the slash or whatever, uh, change this right here to a slash two because we're checking again if this is a um, if this is a command. So what we're doing is when the player joins the game, we're gonna create a new local variable called player. If um, the so when a any of the players joins the game, we're going to create a new local variable called player. If the player is inside of this group right here, we are going to check if their minimum rank is greater than or equal to 253. If they are, then we're going to check if they chatted. If they chatted, we're going to create a new message, which is going to be a string. Um, and we're going, to we're going to find the string if the message is a, um, a exclamation point. So I'm going to check if it's a command. If it is a command, then we're going to cry these local message elements, which is going to be a string split by splitting the message into two things, or just in general, splitting it. And the local command and local command args2, we're going to do the command, which is going to be basically message elements1, which is args1, which is going to be just the command, and then args2, which is going to be the player. So if command equals equals hand command, as in saying if it equals this, um, whatever the, if the, what the person types in equals whatever this is then we're going to get the local player to hand to by going to players find first child command arc one by checking if it's the player that is in the chat i mean in the game 
if the player to hand to and the, the player, there's a character or whatever, we can find the ca character. Um, we're basically going to have the target tool from the player by going to find first child of class tool. Then we're going to go fire, fi if, sorry, target tool. If we find the target tool, then we're going to set that target tool parent to the player hand to backpack. Um, we're doing backpack as in basically it is going to stay in their backpack and um, if they reset, they're going to lose it. Now, if you don't want that to happen, you can change that to starter gear, but um, like this starter gear, but I mean, sorry, starter gear, but I don't recommend doing that just because that will be in their game for the whole time. So I recommend just doing it so it resets, um, but that's about it. So um, if you do have any questions, feel free to let me know in the description. I mean, in the comments, sorry guys, I'm just losing my head. Um, but that's about it. And if you also want, feel free to talk to me on Discord. And we help out everyone there if you want. Just join the Discord. It's in the description. Um, but yeah, thank you guys. That's about it. Um, I hope you did enjoy this video. It's a really kind of little tiny one. So yeah, it's just a simple hand to command. I am going to be working on um, a lot more with the Cafe series. Don't worry. And I'm not done with any other tutorial series. I've just been really busy right now. Hope you guys all understand. And I'm also sick. So that's kind of pain in the butt. But I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys later.